In this video, I'm going over how to troubleshoot your Fitbit Versa 4 if it's not syncing with your phone. Hello and welcome, I'm your tech guide, Wayne. Today I'll be walking you through how to troubleshoot your Fitbit Versa 4 if it's not connecting with your phone. So I'm gonna walk you through a four step process of how to troubleshoot to get your Fitbit re-synced with your phone, okay? So let's start with our first step here. Actually, before I start, I just wanna show you, all I'm trying to do is I'm trying to go in and change the watch face. So. I'm going in, I'm going to gallery, and I'm trying to just select a new watch face. So watch, I'm tapping on this one, I'm hitting select, but for some reason, it's, it's not syncing with the phone. So it's gonna do this, and that just means that it's trying to connect, but it's gonna, at some point, stop because uh, it's out of alignment for some reason. So um, this is the issue I'm having, and I'm gonna show you how I would go about fixing that. And this is also from Fitbit's official website. They show you how to uh, get resynced. So let's jump right in. Okay, first thing you'll need to do, you're gonna go back. Oh, and obviously here's the error. Unable to connect to your device. This is the error that we're trying to fix. So we're gonna go back to this main page. It's the home page of the Fitbit app. And the first thing you'll wanna do to troubleshoot is simply pull down from the top and that's gonna refresh, and it's gonna tell the phone and the app, hey, let's try to connect again. So it's gonna try to resync, and usually this will take about two minutes for it to try to reconnect. One way to gauge if it's working or not is if you tap on the profile icon in the upper left corner, uh, and you go to your Versa 4, Right here, it says sync now. It says it was synced two minutes ago. If you see this little exclamation point, it means that it's still not syncing. Um, once this is usually cleared, then you're good to go, but it's not. And if we go back to our main screen, it still says syncing is taking a while, sit tight. Um, we already know it's not gonna work, so we're gonna move on to the next step, which is you're going to need to turn off your Bluetooth and turn it back on again. So I'm just gonna turn off Bluetooth. If you're on an iPhone, you need to go to your settings, Bluetooth, turn it off, turn it off, turn it back on again. Okay, once it's back on, you'll want to close the Fitbit app altogether and reopen it. So I'm just going to hit the recent app. So I'm gonna swipe up and then I'm going to go back to the Fitbit app again. It's reopened and I'm going to pull down again on this little home section here, and it's gonna begin trying to sync again. Now, here's the thing. When it's synced, or when, it's, um, when everything is working properly, the sync should happen really quickly. But the fact that it jumps right to syncing is taking a while, sit tight, that's how we know there's still something that's off, and the step that we've taken has not helped. All right, so the next step you're gonna take is you need to restart your Fitbit. Now this is super easy. All you're gonna do is hold down on the home button. So I'm gonna turn the screen on first with one tap, and now I'm gonna hold the button again. And all soft resetting does is, oh, there we go. So once you see your Fitbit logo, that means that um, it has shut off and it's turned back on. It mimics the process of like taking the battery out of a phone and putting it back in. Um, this is that process. Obviously, you can't take the back of the Fitbit off, take the battery out, but you can hold down that power button and you can restart it that way. So um, the restart usually takes about 30 seconds. And when it's done, it'll take you back to your home screen watch face. And once we get there, we're then gonna pull down again and at that point, uh, it should sync properly. So we're here, that was quick. I'm gonna pull down one more time. It says it's syncing to the Versa. So we'll see now if it was successful. I had this issue a few days ago and I, I followed these steps and it worked. And it looks like we're good to go. Sync is now complete. And now we're able to do exactly what I was trying to do, which is go in and change the watch face, so let's do that now. And if you notice, it updated and now it has the watch face that I initially selected. So it basically acknowledged that I was trying to update it and it updated it. So just as a test to make sure it's working, I'm gonna now select a different watch face 
and I'm gonna make sure we can install that one as well. And just that fast, it's synced, and we're good to go. So I hope you guys found this helpful. If it was, leave me a comment down below and let me know if it was helpful. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button, and also follow us on Instagram. Our Instagram is at h2techvideos. Um, so follow us on there as well. You'll find some other amazing content there. Follow us across our whole network. And uh, we appreciate you watching. Take care. And as always, have a good one.